Well, one of the two or three most significant early memories for me of the Jordan Winery when I was a small boy involve our old wooden water tank. I recall uh, being held by my mom and dad in front of that water tank, and that being the first time I met Andrei Chelichev. And I remember eating grapes in front of the water tank, and I, that's my first recollection of ever tasting a grape, is standing out there on a hot September day with my mom and dad and Andrei Chelichev, listening to them talk about things that at the time I really didn't understand. Well, last summer, Tim Spence comes into my office, and while discussing a number of other capital budget items, Tim becomes very sheepish and very sad, um, but firm in a big brother sort of way about the need to replace the old wooden water tank. Uh, Tim was sheepish because he knew the sentimental attachment that not only I have for the wooden water tank, but my parents as well, especially with all of the memories and history that's happened around that water tank. And it was, it's very, it was very poignant, but the facts of the matter are that we live in a seismically active area, and that water tank, after almost nearly 40 years of use, just isn't up to it, and that is our fire protection tank. Prudence requires that we replace it. But still, it was a very poignant conversation. And uh, that conversation restarted this past summer when the demolition took place. It was very sad for me in the couple of days before, and Tim would always come by and ask if I was okay, and if I was okay with the water tank, and reminding me that we were doing the right thing. Now, when the water tank came down, it became very clear that Tim was right. Uh, being a wood water tank, it had also been a, a feeding ground for our burgeoning population of woodpeckers. And the woodpeckers had clearly done some solid carpentry in the, uh, in the wooden tank. About that time was the beginning of another project here at the winery, another guest experience that we think is going to be very unique. And so we found application for the wood, water, for the wood from the water tank. So the water tank is actually going to live on just in a different form. The wood has been saved, it's being cleaned and being recut for application in this new uh, visitor experience. So for me, that took a lot of the sting and emotional pain out of demolishing the water tank because now I know that the wood water tank will live on just in a different form and in a different part of the property.